boys and girls, it's me again, and my dog, Stella, who's sitting right here. Um, since I'm already dressed up nicely in my slippers and all, I thought I would do one more um, video. Um, a lot of you have done this in STEM class or have done it in your classrooms, and if you have this stuff at home, that's great. If not, no problem. Uh, we're gonna be building with toothpicks and marshmallows. But I'm gonna show you how to build a really strong structure or tower or house and how to expand just sticking the toothpicks in the marshmallows. So we're gonna start with a very strong, in everything we build in STEM, we always say we have to have a strong, and all of my pre kers would say strong base. So to start that, I am going to connect four sides. I'm going to make a square using toothpicks and marshmallows. And Stella would love to eat one of these marshmallows right now, but Stella, we're not going to eat it. Okay, we're not going to eat it. So look, I have a square, all right? And I have them in there securely. So now I'm going to turn my square into a cube, and I'm going to do that by making connections. Oops. Stella, don't eat the marshmallows. Okay, let's try that again, I lost you. Okay, so now I'm going to make more connections by sticking a toothpick in there and adding another marshmallow. Okay, I'm having technical difficulties, so let's try this one more time. Oh, now we can't see what I'm doing. Okay, stay. All right, all right, so now I'm gonna stick in another toothpick and add another marshmallow, but I gotta make connections. Look, see how these are gonna start falling down unless I add another toothpick, and we're gonna make a cube. So I'm gonna add another one and another one, and I'm gonna make sure all my connections are in place to make this stronger. Okay. And one more right here, and another one right here. And I am turning this into a cube. Right, Stella? Right? Okay. So now, and look, right here, I didn't have it in there good. If you try to put the toothpick in the middle of the marshmallow, it really helps them. So now I turned my square into a cube, which sort of looks like a house. You can build all kinds of things. And here's a little trick for making a triangular roof, if you take four toothpicks, and my pre kers know this, and you stick it in one in the middle of a marshmallow, then you make four connections on the four sides of the top of the cube, and you're gonna have a roof, a triangular roof. You gotta make sure that the toothpicks stay in. I make sure they're in there tight. And then voila, I have a perfect little house. So instead of just doing a house, um, I wanna show you what I did over here is I did a really big house. So I did a two story house and then I had a walkway to my garage and I, then I drew a road and I did a walkway out here. I could have added a mailbox. I tried to do a little car. And then um, here is another building. This could be this could be Stella's doghouse. What do you think, Stella? And um, here, I'm gonna add a screened-in porch on the back of my house. And there we have it. Um, also, with the lesson earlier today with the neighborhoods, if you don't have any of the materials I'm using at home, these are all things I had here. If you don't have them, you can do things a little differently. If you wanna just draw a neighborhood and draw on houses and roads with crayon, you should have that at home. So if you don't have what I'm using here, don't worry, just try to make the best of it and have fun. And I will see y'all later. Say bye, Stella. Say bye.